let's try this one more time. It's the end of the month in the weekend. I'm a black woman. I'm Udoka. Welcome to my channel. I talk about my personal life, but I also talk about hot topics. So if you feel like subscribing, I recommend you assess my vibe. If my vibe is with your vibe and we're on the same vibe, subscribe. Let's talk about Lalisa. I want this to be a fast video. Lalisa's being called out for wearing braids again. She wore them and killed this love. Okay. Now let me give you my personal opinion first. My personal opinion is this was a mm for me. You know, a little stink face. I made the stink face and killed this love. Why did they give me stink face? Because I felt like she probably didn't have anyone black on her team. For me, having people black on your team makes a difference. It does. Um, and you know what makes a difference? Because Vanessa Hudgens, I'm sorry, I paused it at an awkward moment. But Vanessa Hudgens was wearing cornrows at the Fenty Beauty event. And we're not up in arms. Why? Because the person who ordered this was black. So, <laughs> so yes, having a black person involved does change the context of what is this supposed to mean? Um, and then Lisa made an apology. She confirmed for me that there's nobody black on her team. I, I didn't know, like, I didn't have, like, bad addiction. I, I was, I thinking that I was, I thought that the, the hairstyle is very cool. Yes, I know. So she does apologize. Um, and I think it's great that she apologized for me when it comes to this kind of stuff. The fact that you're at the mere, merely acknowledging it is good. It's good in my book. I, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm saying it is good that you're acknowledging a black issue. Like I appreciate that you're acknowledging a black issue that that's where I'm going to take it. Um, but also I love Lisa. I, I, she's the hardest working lady in black pink. Don't come for me. Jisoo fans. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you think I'm wrong about that, you need to provide some evidence. She's the hardest working. Uh, I love her look. I love her sound. I love the brand that she's trying to cultivate. Um, I love her passion for dance. And I, I, I love this chick. And I want to see her go far. She says in her apology that she will start double checking, meaning, hopefully meaning that she doesn't want to appropriate these braids again it would behoove her to have a black person on her team point blank period period i mean her other backup dancers have cornrows hip-hop style a ghetto fabulous style hip-hop sound she's rapping why wouldn't you have a black hip-hopper on your team it only makes sense for your career not just for this current controversy okay so um so you got my opinion. This was a, mm, and we'll see how you do in the future. I hope you add somebody black on your team. That That's how I feel about it personally. Now, you're going to see different black people have different opinions on this. First of all, the reason why you're going to see different opinions is because this is not, this is not popular in black Americana. For example, if this was popular in black Americana, you would see people discussing this outfit. Like the fact that nobody is discussing this outfit, it lets you know, this one right here, the red one, that lets you know, okay, black, this is not, this is something that's not really known in general black spaces in America. Now, if you're asking me, what's wrong with that red outfit? I'm sorry, baby, you gonna have to Google. Like, I don't, here's what I don't want to see. I don't want to see ignorance in my comments, please. I don't, I don't want to see ignorance in my comments. I'm, I'm trying to get through this video as quickly as possible. So I'm saying things that if you're black and from America, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, and I understand this isn't, this is going out to an international audience. So there's certain things that you just not, you just don't know. When I say the audience is ignorant, I'm not trying to be, I'm not 
trying to call y'all stupid. I'm saying you're literally ignorant. Like you literally do not know what we're, what this is. So if I say something that you question, instead of don't be offensive in my comments, just Google it. You can literally Google what is a red bandana mean to black people. Like you, like whatever you need to Google, you will find your results. Okay. Okay. So because this is not like an issue that's being widely discussed and in like the black sphere, like black Twitter, black YouTube, etc., you're going to get individualist opinions. You're going to have black people who don't care, black people who love it, black people who hate it. You're going to get the gamut. I want to explain why you get a gamut because people are not understanding what the situation is. And like I said, it's an international audience. Like some people literally have never seen a black person before, let alone thought about black issues. So let's see. Um, you need to understand that cultural appropriation, the definition itself lends itself to having different opinions on it. So here's the definition on Wikipedia. Cultural appropriation is the, un listen, didn't I tell you you can Google this stuff? L l this is not 2007 where you might find it about it on a obscure GeoCities flash website. Like you can Google this stuff now. Look at, look at all these articles about it. Like you're good. You can Google it. Cultural appropriation is the unacknowledged or inappropriate adoption of an element or elements of one culture or identity by members of another. This can be controversial when members of a dominant culture appropriate from a minority culture. So even this definition itself lends itself to a lot of, a lot of uh, room for, for nuance. Okay. So, you understand that for something to be appreciation, first of all, the person has to know where it comes from. Lisa said that she didn't know. So she, so she can't be appreciating. You can't appreciate something that you don't know where it comes from. So this, this is cultural appropriation. Um, but how black people feel about it, it differs per the black person. And that's what you're going to see. You're going to see different individualized things because cultural appropriation happens so frequently that as a black person, you just, you have to choose what's your threshold. Okay. Like an example is in the feminist community, if you identify as a feminist, you have to decide where, where's your threshold? And there are a lot of ex-feminists who honestly, they're still feminists. They just don't want to identify as feminist because there's just so much. Like there's just so, there's just so much misogyny that could be called out even in the language, even in the freaking language that we're speaking. There's just so much. And at a certain, and at a point you have to decide, okay, where, where do I care in that? Where is my care level? Where's my care level? Because there's so much. And a lot of people call themselves ex-feminists because they couldn't decide it was too much. The pressure of the label, they would rather just not have the pressure of the label. So similar concepts, but you can't not be black anymore. If you're black, you're black. You can't choose to be black. You're just born that way. Um, so I... So like, yeah, like every black person at a point, because black people in black cultures are disrespected so frequently that you, you end up having to choose at what level do you care? Um, black culture in the music industry is appropriated all the time. And over the years, Black people in the industry chose, okay, where, 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 where do we care? Where do we care? So that's why, that's why you're seeing so, that's why you're seeing different opinions from the few black people 
who have a, you know, platform, YouTube platform or whatever to speak on it, you see different opinions. Um, I want to give context for this because some people feel like, well, when they appropriate my hijabi culture, I'm not upset. It's a different thing. This is a completely different context. Understand that black culture is appropriated all the time. Understand that a lot of things come from blackness. The music you listen to probably came from blackness. Like you just understand black culture is used all the time. Understand there is a long history of black people being used. Understand that. Understand that when it comes to hair, that is very, that is a very tender, sensitive topic for black women. Understand that Yes, the world is anti-black. Now, I'll get people who are like, but what about what about all the progress that we've made? And I know a lot of people who aren't racist against black people. I know, I know. But by and large, the general sentiment worldwide, there there is an anti-blackness. Like there's all these different things to consider that is unique to blackness and a context that is unique to blackness that if you don't understand these things you're going to be very confused by this discussion but to make it simple here's a simple rule once you understand that this is an issue that's a black issue it's okay to just allow black people to discuss it if you're not black it's okay to understand that this is an issue that doesn't affect you. So you shaming black people for sharing their feelings on it. Nobody, nobody wants that. You trying to insert your opinion uh, amongst black people discussing it. Not helpful. Like you trying to center your thoughts and feelings on a black issue that doesn't affect you. It's, that's not it. If you actually want to understand what this issue is, Google, Google, listen to the opinions of the culture that was apologized to and keep an open mind and and understand that what you think and feel is not what we're discussing right now. That's the main thing I want to say. Yeah, that's the main thing I want to say. That it is a sensitive issue it's a bigger issue that there's levels to it. Like there's levels. I, I'm trying to keep this under 15 minutes. So I'm not going to go into all these different levels. This is not, I'm not trying to have a video essay. I just wanted to give my two cents as a black person because not many of us are making YouTube videos about it. And, um, and because of that, our voices are not being centered Um, I understand it's an international community, so there's a lot of ignorance about how to even discuss this. And I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Let me know what you think in the comments, but please do know I read every single comment. I read every single comment and, um, listen, I, I'm happy to help initiate your education I'm happy to help initiate your education, but I don't have time to to provide professor level course in blackness in my in my comment section. I I don't have time. So at a certain point, I'm I'm just going to tell you to Google. I also don't have time for people who fake curiosity. Like I, I don't have time for people who pretend like they're genuinely curious and wanting to learn, but actually they're trying to be on some BS. I don't have time for that either. Um, and then, you know, I might be saying this all in vain because maybe only 20 people will see this video. Who knows? But I just wanted to put it out there. Okay. I need to take a nap. I need to like, I don't know, refresh myself. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm excited to see where Lisa's career goes from here. And, um, if I need to make a part two, I will just let me know in the comments. That's how I know that people care. If you leave a comment and like the video, if you vibe with me, subscribe until next time. Much love, much luck. Peace out.